Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. I do give honor to the Spirit of Christ who's head of the church, to our pastor, to our evangelist, to the saints here, to the Most High God. But this is truly the day that the Lord has made. He told us to rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Yes, Lord. I am grateful unto the Lord today for just waking me up this morning. Clothing me in my right mind. I thank God for a roof over my head, clothing on my back, the activities of my limbs. I thank yes. the Lord. I just want to thank God for just life in itself. I thank God for the blood. Amen. I think about it. I thank God for the blood of yes. Jesus. I thank God for how he brought me out so much, so much, so much. I thank God for just saving me when he did. Amen. I thank God for... He allowed me to see a new life. Amen. He told me he'd come and give me life and more abundance. Yes, and I see some of his abundance life. Amen. He didn't, he didn't hold my hand. He had walked me through so many trials and tribulations. He had walked me through so many blessings. Yes. Amen. I thank God for him today. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, yes. and all that he done for me, yes, my soul cries out, hallelujah. hallelujah. I thank God for his word Amen. today. I thank God for the church. I thank God for the people of God yes. today. I thank God for just opening up doors yes. for me. I just yes. thank God He's making ways out of no way yes. for me. I just thank God for all that He ever done for me. And I just want to tell the Lord I love Him today. I thank God for, for Him today. Amen. I ask the church to continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I get part of the price to the head of my life to Pastor Taylor, First Lady, and a missionary Darlene, and the and even that. I thank and praise God for being here. I thank and praise God for life. I thank Him for health and strength. Yes. I thank Him for joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. And when I say I thank Him for life, health, and strength, I truly thank God for life health and strength because I couldn't always say that. I did not have my health. I did not even have my strength to even raise up off the bed right. some days. But I thank and praise God that he brought me from a mighty long way. Yes. I thank and praise God because you know as I was telling uh, you all on the way in the van, I fell the, uh, the other day uh, bringing the laundry in. But I thank and praise God that I'm able to stand up and walk because yeah. I know
Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Stand the Lord. Stand in agreement with that. He is a healer. Mm -hmm. He is a deliverer. Amen. Yes, and yes he Lord. He can do anything but faith. But faith. Hallelujah. And that is the truth and nothing but, but the truth. truth. Amen. Oh, Praise the Lord. Lord. And that's the God that I serve. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody else want to give a testimony? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just give honor and man to the Spirit of Christ. Amen. Who is the head of the church? Amen. To the pastor. Amen. To the first lady. Uh, Minister Rose. And just everyone. Amen. Just thank the Lord. Amen. Just for blessing. It. Amen. Just for being here one more time. Amen. I just thank the Lord. Amen. Just for being so good. Amen. You woke me up this morning. Amen. You started me on my way. Gave me the strength. Amen. I said, I was tired. Amen. I was tired today. Amen. But I said, but God, amen. It take God to you yes, read. Amen. Because ain't nobody else can wake you up. You can't even wake yourself up if you, you try. Amen. But I just thank the Lord, amen, because he has been good to us. Amen. My family, amen. He um, just blessing the, um, the ministry, amen. He blessing us to even be live, amen, share the gospel. Oh. Amen. In different ways, amen. Even if we feel a number, the Lord said we're two and three. Amen. That's not even looting the ones that watch it. Amen. So oh. I just thank the Lord, amen, just for even being able to touch and agree, amen. Because the Lord, He can work in some mysterious ways, Amen. Because we've just been on one accord, Amen. I know the Lord is going to do some things, Amen, um, with the ministry, and I know yes. the Lord is going to take it to the next level, Amen. So I just thank the Lord, Amen, just for um, just for being here, Amen, for bless my family to be here, just for even um, just for strengthening us, Amen, giving us another day, Amen, to even just um, enter to His house one more time, Amen. I should continue to pray my strength, the Lord, as I pray for yours, Amen. Bye. 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 Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Let's the give Lord. Jesus another one. <laughs> Amen. We're not going to prolong the time. Amen. I do like to introduce a young lady that's going to be our speaker of the hour of today. Uh, amen. But I know that she was saved at a young, young age. Young lady in the Lord. Amen. As our Sunday school was talking about productivity, we have to be active. Amen. Yeah. And show some productivity. Amen. In our walk with Christ. And I thank God for her being young in the Lord. Amen. I got saved in her teenager years. Amen. It's a blessing. Amen. At this time, I'd like to introduce a young lady. She's a missionary, but she's a great help for reaching out ministry. She does a lot of our, um, our, our uh, internet stuff, our uh, stuff that we, uh, paperwork. And yes. She's doing a lot of our stuff that we need to be done on uh, on Facebook, on yes. she, uh, the cameras. And <laughs> she does a lot of that kind of stuff. And I thank God for her. Amen. That she, uh, a woman of business as well. Amen. She's an author of four books. Praise amen. Lord. Praise God. God. Bless her. That's productivity. Amen. Amen. Hey, amen. The reward is not about money all the time. It's when you leave earth, you can say, what I've done. Yes. Amen. With my talent. I sure, the good news, I sure some great uh, 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 revenues to people. Amen. I thank God for that on today that she's a young lady, an uh, author, an uh, uh, entrepreneur. Amen. In multiple business. Amen. A go-getter. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. She's a child of the Most High God. This time. Amen. I want to introduce to you all missionary Darlene. Amen. I say praise the Lord as she comes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. I just um, thank the Lord. Amen. Just, just want to give honor and man to the Spirit of Christ. Amen. Just one more time. Amen. Who is the head of the church? Amen. To the pastor, first lady. Just everyone. Amen. I just thank the Lord. Amen. Just for blessing. Amen. He has been blessing. Amen. Blessing me. Amen. Um, even blessing me just even be able to get on the um, Tuesday night prayer lines that we have. Amen. We have them every Tuesday. And I just thank the Lord for it, amen, because the Lord, he been able to allow me to make it, amen, because I'm here working, I'm like, oh, man, I don't know if we're going to flex overnight, amen, so I just thank God, he been good, amen, to me, amen, to you just to get on that prayer line, amen, um, it just, I feel good, amen, to get on it, amen, it feels good when you get on it, amen, I feel because the Lord, he answers prayers, amen, I want to talk a little bit about prayer, amen, but I just thank the Lord, amen, um, just for um, blessing, amen, me and 
so many mysterious ways. I mean, he blessed me to be here. Uh, he he um, uh, blessed the church. I mean, we traveled so far. I mean, from Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I just thank the Lord. Amen. Because the Lord has sent us for an assignment. And I just thank the Lord. Amen. Just for the assignment. Amen. Because he can have you in a place. Amen. But then he can move you to another place. And everything is about a reason and a purpose. And that's a little bit what I want to talk about today. And I'm just asking everyone with me, amen, before we even go into the word, amen, if you can bow your heads with me in a moment of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we give honor to your name, Lord God. We lift up your name, Lord God. We thank you, allowing us to be here just one more time. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning, for starting us on our way. Lord God, we thank you for the strength, Lord God, the activities of our limbs, Lord God, to even be able to walk in this place. We thank you, Lord God, for blessing, amen, every soul that is here, Lord God, those the ones that's not even here, Lord God. I thank you for allowing us to stand in the gap. And Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to continue to bless. I ask you to bless in the word this morning. And ask you, Lord God, to touch even all the listeners, the watchers, the, the ones that tune in. Lord God, bless them as well, Lord God. Those that couldn't, maybe they couldn't um, go to church, amen. Maybe it was something that happened, amen. But those that's watching, Lord God, I ask you to bless them, Lord God, in this word. I ask you to bless those, Lord God, that's here right now. I ask you to bless, Lord God. I ask you to word my mouth. Give me what to say, how to say it, and where to say it. And Lord God, I magnify your name. I glorify your name, Lord God. I acknowledge your name in all the things that I pray, Lord God. I pray in your name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 If you have your Bibles, amen, I'm not going to be with you for long, amen. If you could turn with me to the book of Hebrews. Yeah. Amen. And I want to go to the fourth chapter. And I would like to uh, have a reader, if that's okay. Amen. Amen. And everyone is uh, taking the fourth chapter in the 14th verse. Amen. Just a, we're going to read just a few scriptures, amen. The 14th, we're going to go down to the 16th. Amen. And first lady, you can read for me. I will really appreciate it. Okay. Four and fourteen. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna give everybody a little bit of time to get it. Amen. But I thank the Lord, amen. I thank the Lord, amen, for that Sunday school as well. Productivity. Yes. Amen. Lord. Being busy for the Lord. Amen. He said that he does not like, amen, a lack of productivity because he created you for his purpose. Amen. Amen. That purpose, amen, is to lift him up, to, to serve him, amen, and to even help others. Amen. So I just thank the Lord for that word. Um, the Sunday school, even for those that tuned in as well. Amen. First of all, you can go ahead. When everybody has a can you say amen? Amen. 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 Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our firmness, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen. Thank you. Amen. If I'd like to leave you with a thought, amen, like I said, I'm not going to be for you long. Amen. But can somebody say, at the right time, at the right time, at the right place, at the right place, in the right position, in the right position. Amen. That is my thought. Amen. It says, see then that we have a great high, high priest that is passed into the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us boldly fast. Let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched. Amen. With the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, but yet without sin. Yeah. Amen. At the right place. Amen. At the right time. Amen. At the right place and in the right position. Amen. First, I wanted to go back to the 14. Amen. He said, seeing then that we have a great, a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Amen. I want to talk a little bit, amen, about the holding fast part. Amen. He went into it. Amen. He says, amen, let us hold fast our profession. Amen. What we have perfected. Uh -huh. Amen. He said, hold fast out of your profession. And he said, you know. Now, come on now, y'all. Y'all know the vow that you gave. Amen. To the Lord. Amen. And right now, I want to talk a little bit about the time. Amen. At the right time. Amen. And it was a time, amen, in our life. Amen. It was a time in our life, amen, that we had to bow to the Lord. Amen. When we came to him. We bowed, Lord. You know, I was in a, I was, I 
you know what, I want to do a little things a little bit different. I want to change some things in my life. He said, hold fast the profession of what you profess to him. Uh-huh. Amen. In this 14th verse, amen. See then that we have a great high priest. I thank God for being the high priest. He said, the Lord Jesus, amen, being that high priest in our life. Amen. He said that he that passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Amen. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched. Amen. Somebody say he cannot be touched. He cannot be touched. Amen. He cannot be touched. He cannot. Amen. I'm talking about the right place. Amen. We also was in a place in our life, amen, where, amen, we was in a place in our life where we feel like, okay, I don't know who am I going to turn to right now. There's a point in time. Amen. But he said, the Lord being that high priest, amen, he's able to do any and everything. Any and everything. Amen. And then he said, said without the feelings of our infirmities, but was at all points tempted like we was. Amen. How many of y'all know? We know that the Lord, he was in the flesh like we're in the flesh. Yes. He was tempted, but he said that he was without sin. But yes, who can, now we can go to the Lord, amen, and we know that the Lord is going to answer our prayers. Amen. We already know the Lord is going to take care of some things in our life, amen, and we don't have to worry because he is that high priest. Amen. But he said that he was without the sin anyhow. Amen. How, now, how can you go to someone that is with sin, amen, and expect for them to answer your prayers, amen, when they can't even do it themselves? Now, they can't answer your prayers, amen, but he said that the high priest, I'm talking about the high priest right now, and I'm talking about being at the right time and at the right place, amen, because it was times in our life when we was not at the right place, uh -huh. amen, but he said, let us therefore, amen, come boldly unto, amen, the throne of grace, amen, how many of y'all know that we can go to the throne of grace, amen, and we know that the Lord, he's going to be right there, amen, yes. have you ever went somewhere in a place when somebody could have responded? And they couldn't answer to you, amen, but I'm talking about the timing right now, the right place right now. But he said, I want you to come boldly. This is the time I want you to come boldly, knowing that you can come to me and you can pray. Amen. Knowing that I can answer your prayers, amen, uh -huh. and you just come boldly. Amen. It was time when we was afraid because we were so deep into sin. Amen. You could be so deep into yeah, sin yeah, where it's yeah. like, okay, I don't know, should I come to him right now? But he said, come boldly, just come. Yes. Amen. And he said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. Amen. I thank God for being a merciful God. Right. Amen. God is a merciful God. Amen. He said, and find grace and help in a time of need. Yes. Amen. Yes. God, he's the only one that can come in a time of need. Amen. He's the only one. Amen. You know, we can't do it ourselves. Amen. We can't do it ourselves. And I thank the Lord, amen, for the Sunday school, amen, because he was talking about the productivity, amen, uh -huh. and knowing that
where you want him to change some things in your life. Amen. And sometimes when it comes to us, amen, that we have to come into that place to make the move. Amen. And that's why he said, I want you to come. Amen. You just come. Amen. You come. Just come. Amen. And make that move and come before me. Now I can help you. Amen. I'm talking about just the, just having the power of prayer. Amen. Just to, just to understand, amen, that if you believe and trust in the Lord, amen, and have a little bit of faith. He said, just just a little bit, amen, the size of a mustard seed. I'm going to move some things in your life. Amen. amen. So I just thank the Lord, amen, amen, for just being at the right time. Amen. The right time. Amen. It has always been the right time in our life, amen. But I thank the Lord for the right time right now. Amen. The right time right now. The right place right now. We're in the right place right now. This morning said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're in the right place right now. Amen. Some news, amen, that came. Don't want to make a long story, amen. But let's make it short, amen. There's some news that came, amen. But I thank the Lord, amen. We are in this place right now. We're in this place, amen. The time might change. That's okay, amen. The time might change. But that's okay because we're still here. Amen. Amen. We're still here. right now, but he said, I want you to be in the right place. Yes. Just be at the right place for me. Yes. Amen. Sometimes you can be in the wrong place, but you can't expect a good answer right now because being at that wrong place. Yes. But I want you to be set in the place where I want you to be right now on a Sunday morning. Uh -huh. I, mean, I don't want you to be at home. I want you to be right here at the yes. right place, amen, to receive the right answer. Amen. Do you want to receive the right response? Amen. I want you to be there. Amen. I'm still talking about, amen, the, the timing. Amen. The right place. Amen. And being in the right position. Amen. You're not too bad. Amen. For the Lord. He can't pick you up. Amen. He already told us. Amen. He said that he's that high priest. Amen. He said that I can't pick you up. I can't move in your life. Amen. But I want you to trust in me. And I want you to still just come to me. Amen. Seeing then that we have a great, a, a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Yeah. Amen. I want to just leave off with that verse. Amen. Amen. The profession that you said to the Lord, your vow that you said unto the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves what we have said to the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. What did you say to the Lord? You, you said some words when you moved to Florida. Amen. This is what I'm going to do. Or this is what I'm going to, you know, I'm going to change some things. Or, you know, I want to just go ahead and start all over. And the Lord, I want you to go ahead and direct my steps. I'm going to be here, Lord, whatever you have for me to do. But I want you to direct my steps. Now, these are the vows that we sometimes we can speak out. Amen. But the thing is, if you speak them out, the Lord wants you to hold fast. Just like he holds on to the fast of the promise that he gave you. Amen. So sometimes you have to remind yourself, like, man, you know what, Lord? I did say that. I did say those words, you know, to you what I'm going to do. And let me, Lord God, let me hold fast, amen, to those words. Amen. Hold on to fast in your profession, yes, amen, yes, if you yes. want the Lord to do some things in your life. Amen. Sometimes you have to keep in mind, amen, you know what, Lord, I, I know I know what you said about the promise. I know you said you're going to give it to me, but let me hold fast to my profession as well. Yes. Amen. So I, I just want to leave you just with that thought, amen, being at the right, the right, the right timing, amen, the right place, amen, and being, amen, in the right position. Amen. We're in the right position. Amen. Reaching our ministries. We are in the right position. Amen. For the Lord. He's going to be moving. He's going to be doing some things. If anyone that's out there, amen, that's watching, amen. The Lord is going to be doing some things in your life. Amen. But it's all about the obedience part too. Uh -huh. Amen. Being obedient. Amen. Everything that you said you want to do. Amen. Being obedient. Amen. Being obedient to his word. I told you to get up. I want you to go ahead and get up. If I said I want you to go on that, that Tuesday night prayer line, I want you to get on the Tuesday night prayer line. That's right. Amen. That's what the Lord, I mean, you said to the Lord, amen, and the Lord, sometimes he'll throw back your words, amen, what you told him. Jesus. Sometimes we be trying to pray to the Lord and say you want to help me in this time, amen, in this stress, amen, but what did you say? You said you want to be on Tuesday, but you stopped being on it. What happened? Right. Amen, so I just thank the Lord, amen, just for the timing, amen, because I know this is the right time for every one of us, amen, and this is the right place for every one of us, uh -huh. amen, and this is the right position, uh -huh. amen, for the Lord to move in some things in our life. Amen. I, I thank I thank you for your time. Amen. Prayer, my strength, the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, come on, you can do that. Hallelujah. Somebody say. Really focused on that. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
because uh, just the topic alone, amen, uh, I was kind of like slumped over a minute, just sitting in my chair. These chairs, if you lean back, the chair go back, right? Yeah. Right, praise God. So if you're going to position yourself in these chairs that we're sitting in today, amen, you're going to have to sit upright. But I was kind of slumping back. But when she spoke it, amen, she said, at, at the right time, the right place, and the right position. Did I say that right? In the right position. Amen. When, when, I, when, 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 when she said the right position, then my, my chair got in an upright position. <laughs> amen. Praise God. And, and so I, I, I started thinking, right time, right place, right position. And if I could play that back, amen, that was the beginning of my journey. Amen. That was the beginning of my journey that led me up to where I'm at right now. Oh, y'all didn't, y'all, y'all, y'all didn't hear me. See, y'all made the same journey with me. Amen. I made the best. Amen. It was at the right time when we left St. Louis, Missouri. Mm-hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. It was at the right place God had positioned us in, which we are in right now. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it is the right, amen, praise the Lord. Position. It's the right position. And the, the key word is position. What kind of position you in right now? It to you it might not be a, a good one. And for some of you it may be a good one. But God said it's the right position that I got you in. Amen. Praise the Lord. You, you think you may be going through something? Here's the key. Don't complain about it. Don't tell God what you can't do. Because uh-huh. he'll show you what you can do. That's right. That's so right. you in the right position that he's put you in. Amen. Praise the Lord. There are some things, amen, that God wants to show that are in you. There are some things that God wants you to know that can come out of you. Amen. Praise the Lord. He want to show you where you're strong and where you're weak at, what you can develop in. Amen. Praise the Lord. What you can just, you know, mature in. So God has got you in the right position. The thing that you need to know is that I yet still trust the Lord. Amen. Whatever position I'm in, I still trust the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because it was his timing. Amen. That he made me move. It was his place where he wanted me to be. And now it is his position that he has put me in. And the key thing is to say to yourself, I'm still going to trust the Lord. Amen. In spite of the timing, in spite of the, in, in spite of the place, and in spite of the position. Had only Israel would have done that. Amen. Praise the Lord. They would have been serving other gods. They wouldn't have went their way instead of going God's way. Amen. Just trusting in the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, do I got enough time just to recap this just a little bit or do I don't? How much time we got left? 1041. 1041. So, okay, I got about nine minutes. Amen. But I just want to add a little bit too. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, in, in the 14th verse, amen, that was Hebrews Fourth chapter, right? Amen. And we was in the 14th verse. Yes, sir. And I thank the Lord for giving her this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right time, right place, right, right possession. Amen. It says, seeing that we have a great high priest. Mm-hmm. Amen. You have a great high priest. Amen. But you also have high priests down here on the earth. Amen. But the high priests that are down on the earth cannot compare to the high priests that I serve. Amen. The high priests that the world refers to, amen, sits upon a, a false throne. Amen. Where's a false crown? Amen. Because no high priest is given an earthly crown. Amen. You don't get your crown until you get to heaven. Amen. 